Well, guys, we are finally here to review a show that has been on the calendar for me to review for a while. And we are going to be talking about Code Geass. Again, I've had so many people tell me, dude, you got to watch Code Geass. You got to watch Code Geass. You got to watch Code Geass. Finally, watch it. Um, I've had people tell me for the longest time, oh, Code Geass is the best anime out there. Uh, probably the time it came out, I could see the reason why. Uh, Code Geass to me, one, was a hell of a show. That is the best way I know to describe it. It was a hell of a show. Um, I really don't have nothing to compare it to. The only thing I could probably compare this to was some of the ways that they did it. Kind of made me feel like I was watching Gundam a few times. And the only reason why I say that is because of what they were using to battle in this. Uh, I'm really not going to go too much into Kogios. For for those of you who do not know a lot about what Kogios is, um, we have Johnny Ambush who plays as uh, Lelouch who is uh, a royal prince that is in Japan, and he is uh, pretending to be not a Britannian, but Japanese, just a regular Britannian and Japanese, and he's best friends with a Japanese person to where this uh, Britannian empire comes in and just takes over Japan and makes them pretty much subsistence in their own country and then China gets involved in all this and then there's just a big rebellion and then Lelouch gets caught up in something and he gets granted the power of Gios which he is able to control people with his mind tells them to do things and then we later figure out through the entirety of the series one he wants to figure out why his mother was murdered why his father is the way he is who is the Emperor of Britannia and all these different love interests that he has as well as also how can he handle the um, being a rebel leader uh, called Zero and then him trying to be an influence on his sister and again him dealing with so many things and him getting revenge mainly for his mother's death and I will say this was probably one of Johnny Ambosh's again amazing performances uh, again, if you watch the English version, uh, the characters I liked, I liked Lelouch, I liked C, I liked C2, uh, Kaylin, she was awesome, Shirley, I was upset that she died in the show, I was a little pissed off about that, again, there may be people that like Suzaku, again, I thought Suzaku was one of those, he was your typical, um, what's the word, uh, typical wannabe hero that you would want to go to but at the same time it's kind of a pain in the ass to where he's always there he always gets in the way and i just got kind of tired of him and i'm kind of i was kind of disappointed that they killed off lelouch in the end but again with the way that they wrote the story lelouch started as an innocent becoming a hero to ending up a villain in his own way to where he got what he wanted to make his world peaceful but in the way he had to do that was becoming a monster to be able to stop the world into becoming chaotic and I understand that and I will say I know there's a movie that came out not too long ago so I'm probably gonna have to review that to be able to uh, see what else has occurred that May they may have not shown in the series. I had to ask a friend of mine uh, about any of the movies that came out beforehand. He suggested just to watch the latest movie that came out because it all it did was pretty much give like a recap and some other additional stuff. So I'm definitely gonna have to check that out at some point. Don't know when. Um, I will say I like the Zero uh, look. I think it's very slick, very cool. Um, again, I think it's one of those shows within its time that kind of had like a Yu-Gi-Oh slash Gundam. Uh, kind of effect to it. They did a great job with the animation, making the characters look absolutely amazing, uh, making just the characters look really cool, really cool, uh, not really just really cool, but slick, um, made the women look very uh, beautiful, very attractive, made the guys look like they were just badasses, like they were just very powerful, and they're coming out just to beat someone's ass pretty much. And I loved how they were able to portray that. I love how they were able to make uh, non-Lee 
not only just a, this decrepit, um, sweet, innocent young girl, and then to where she doesn't come across like that at some point. And then same thing with C2 being very innocent and attractive and just very knowledgeable, but then her being so deadly as well. And same thing with Lelouch, you know, him being very um, po political uh, and not only being very political, but being very smart, being very strategic in his moves, being able to per, like kind of predict about what um, the Britannian Empire was going to do, what his father was going to do, what his siblings was going to do, what his enemies was going to do. And that just really showed how much of a strategist he was. Uh, he was more of a strategist than he was a, uh, I would say, a warrior. Again, I think he was more of a strategist and a strategic chess game player that's what was shown a lot in the show and i will say again that i was kind of shocked how much i enjoyed the show it was one of those where i had to stop because i was busy doing other things or trying to watch other shows again there's a lot more anime that i'm gonna have to catch up and review for you guys but overall i think this show is one of those where i will say it is a great anime and if you have not watched it i definitely highly recommend it for those who have not watched it as of yet so just once again, my final thoughts on uh, Code Geass. I would probably watch it again just to see if I missed something. I would just sit back and enjoy a little bit of an older anime and be able to enjoy what anime that anime brought to the world, you know. And I'm waiting to see exactly what else um, it can do. Are we going to be getting a spinoff or something? Or are we going to be getting something else? Um, again, there's a lot of things in Code Geass that was probably still not explained, as well as being not able to be shown. So I'm going to have to check out something to see about what the movie is about. And I'm going to go from there. And when I finally watch it, I'll let you guys know what I thought. And we'll come back around for another review. So, again, final thoughts. Amazing show. we we'll definitely watch it again. Not bad. Uh, not good. Probably not the best, in my opinion. But still an amazing anime nevertheless. So again, guys, check out Code Geass if you have not watched it yet. Um, for those of you that love Code Geass, okay, great. Those of you that don't, okay, that's fine too. Um, this anime may not be for everybody or it may be the best anime ever to some people. Again, that's perfectly fine. If you're an anime fan, then great, check it out. If it's not for you, it's fine. If, if it's for you, then definitely check it out. But overall, guys, that is my thoughts on Code Geass, the series. Let me know what you guys thought about it and I'll see you as always on the next one.